Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to 52 Books in 52 Weeks and today is book review number two. So this time I was reading, and I'm going to use the term loosely, because actually I was listening to Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. So of course today I can't show you the book because I was listening to the audiobook. That's the first time I've really enjoyed an audiobook, I'm going to admit. It was kind of handy for me. I spent a little bit of time in the car during the day, and I also like to go out for a walk or a run in the morning. And so what I started doing then was using that time as audio time rather than listening to music or whatever else. And it was a really great way to involve myself in some more books during the year. So, quick review of Crush It by Gary V, otherwise known as Gary Vaynerchuk. Some goods and some bads. First of all, the good things. Um, I love Gary's passion. Gary's a very specific kind of person. If you haven't heard of him or you haven't looked at him, go find his YouTube channel, go find his website. Um, he's a very certain type of character and some people will love him and some people will hate him. And while I don't agree with everything he says, I quite like him. I like his style, I like his honesty, I like his passion. So um, I was really hoping that when I found Crush It that I would enjoy that too and I did, I really did. Um, it's a great book and some of the things that I really like that Gary speaks about is the fact that you can turn whatever you're passionate about into a business but it will take time and that you have to work for it. You're going to have to put in some hours and you're going to have to put in some effort. And I really like the fact he's honest. I mean, as with everything that I'm doing at the moment in um, hashtag real life biz, it's about sharing what really happens. Well, this book is the same. Like he very quickly says, yes, you can make money doing whatever you want. And yes, we are in the entrepreneur revolution. And yes, you can make money online. But He's really realistic about it and he's really quick to say that you won't make money in the first day or the first year even sometimes. He's also really quick to say that you're not going to just lie on a beach for the rest of your life and roll around in piles of cash, that you have to work for it. And I like that. The other thing I like about it is he, he has shared a lot of personal story, but I like the fact that he only ever shares and endorses anything he's actually done. So this is not theory, this is not possibility, this is not bull, this is look, He's like, I did this and it worked for me. It may or may not work for you, but this is what I did and this is how it worked. And I really like that. So some of the things I wasn't so keen on. Uh, first of all, and it's not his fault at all, uh, the book is slightly older now. So I believe Crush It was came out in late 2009. I feel I should have researched that before I said that in the video. I think that's about where it came out. Um, moral of the story is then some of the things he talks about on social media uh, are not necessarily outdated, the concepts are still true, but some of the things he mentions are a little bit outdated now, or perhaps just very commonplace. He might be talking about it as a brand new strategy or something that's going to work really well, or he thinks he's going to work really well, and now everyone's just doing it. Um, that's testament to how well he was doing and to what he knew back then. Now, of course, then it's a little outdated. Having said which, there was great content in there, content that I was really glad I listened to and some really good things to take away. Just be aware the book is a little bit older now. Uh, the other thing you need to be aware of is, like I said at the beginning, he's a very certain kind of person. If you don't like Gary Vaynerchuk, you're probably not going to like the book. It's just the way it is. Lastly, though, the thing about listening to an audio is he likes to ad-lib. If you've ever watched his videos, he likes to rant and rave. And the upside of the audio book is he'd read some of the book and then he'd just go on this sort of random off-script bit and he'd share some more information or he'd explain how there was a difference between when he wrote the book and when he was recording the audio for the book um, and he'd give some extra insight. So I really liked that. It was really personal and it really gave us an insight into how he thought things had changed or what had changed since the book had come out. So that's Gary Vaynerchuk's Crush It. Uh, if you like Gary, then go get it. Um, it's great. It's him to a T. It's everything he's ever done. It's not necessarily groundbreakingly new, but it's a really good reminder. If you don't like Gary Vaynerchuk, probably don't go get it. You're not going to love it. Um, he's very specific. He's a very certain kind of personality. If his videos piss you off, his book's going to piss you off. Just the way it is. So that's it for book number two, 52 books in 52 weeks. Of course, stay tuned for book number three.